Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful Simply Daisy bookmark. This bookmark uses a star stitch and only two rows, so it works up quickly and uses very little yarn. Now, you may be wondering, haven't I already posted a video tutorial for this bookmark? And the answer is yes, but this is going to be an updated tutorial to answer any questions from the previous videos, as well as make things a little bit slower so that you guys can follow along a little bit easier, I'm hoping. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, first thing is first, if you are an absolute beginner and you've never crocheted before, I recommend checking out some of the links that I have in my description box for how to make a slip knot and then also how to make a chain stitch. You are going to want to practice your starting chain before you start this bookmark, then you can come back to this project and hopefully crochet a bookmark. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a slip knot, place it on your hook, then tighten it up. Now we are going to chain 33. Alright guys, before you start, it's a good idea to just quickly count your chains just to make sure you have the correct number because it is important for row 1. To start row 1, we are going to yarn over and we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain, this is the second, so going underneath that top loop right here, we're going to insert our hook and we're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. Kind of draw it up a little bit higher just to create a slightly looser stitch. So right now we have three loops on our hook. Into the next chain we're just going to insert our hook, we're not going to yarn over. So just insert your hook into that chain, we're going to yarn over and we are going to draw up a loop and draw it up a little bit high just to create a looser stitch. So we have four loops on our hook. We're going to do this two more times. So going into the next chain, under that top loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. So draw it up a little bit high. We have five loops on our hook. Into the next chain, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. So now we have six loops on our hook, so what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to pull through all six loops. And we're going to chain one. So that is our first stitch. Okay guys, the second stitch is a little bit different and this is going to be our pattern repeat for the rest of the row. So there are three places that we are going to be inserting our hook. So do you guys see that when we made our chain one it created this little hole or gap here? Well, that is called a chain one space or the eye of the stitch. So that's one area that we're going to be inserting our hook. The next area is the leg of the stitch. So if you guys can see, we should have like six, I don't know, we'll call them legs. We have six legs of our stitch. So basically six little juts that are coming from our stitch. And this last one right here is going to be where we're inserting our hook. We're also going to insert our hook into the ch the um, the last chain that we worked our stitch into. So as you guys can see, the leg is coming out of that last chain that we worked into right here. So that's another area that we're going to be working into. To start our stitch, we are going to insert our hook into the eye or the chain one space of the first stitch. We're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. So we have two loops on our hook and draw that loop up a little high because you want to create a loose stitch. 
Okay, now going into that last leg of our stitch, so this one right here, we're gonna insert our hook, we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. And you can draw it up a little bit high, okay? Now that last chain that we worked our stitch into, we're also gonna insert our hook in there and we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. Again, draw it up a little bit high. Okay, now at this point we have four loops on our hook and we want six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the next two chains that are unworked. So going into the next chain, we're gonna yarn over, draw up a loop. So we have five loops on our hook. And then we're gonna go into the next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. So we have six loops on our hook. Okay, draw these loops up a little bit higher so that it's easier to pull through all six loops. To complete our stitch, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through all six loops. Now, chain one. So we are going to repeat this all the way across the row. I'm gonna show you guys this a couple more times. So we're gonna start by going into the eye of our stitch or that chain one space gap. So insert your hook into the eye, yarn over, draw up a loop, draw it up a little bit high. Going into the last leg of our stitch, so that sixth one right here, gonna yarn over and draw up a loop and draw it up pretty high. Going into the last chain that we worked our stitch into, gonna insert our hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, okay? And we want a total of six loops, so we're gonna work into the next two chains. So going into the first chain, we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. Going into the second chain, we're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. And draw these loops up pretty high. Now, yarn over and pull through all six loops. Now, chain one. Okay, once more guys, for our fourth star stitch, we're gonna insert our hook into the eye, yarn over and draw up a loop and draw it up pretty high. Going into the last leg of the stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop and draw it up pretty high. Going into the last chain that we worked into, we're gonna yarn over, draw up a loop now, going into the first unworked chain, we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. Going into that second chain, we're gonna yarn over and draw up a loop. So we have six loops on our hook. So at this point, we're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops. Now, chain one. Okay guys, I want you to repeat this all the way across until you get to the last two chains. Okay guys, we have two chains remaining, which is exactly what we want because that means that we have enough to make our last stitch. So just like before, going into the eye, going into the last leg, going into the last chain that we worked, and then going into the two unworked chains. Okay, six loops. We're gonna yarn over, pull through all six loops, and chain one. So this is what row one of our bookmark looks like. We should have a total of 15 stitches. To start row two, we're going to turn our work. So we're looking at the back side, and we are going to go directly into the eye of the last stitch. So it can be a little hard to see this, but there, if you stretch out your work, see that hole right there? That's where we're gonna insert our hook. So going in there, insert your hook, yarn over, 
and draw up a loop. So you have two loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. That is a single crochet. So I'll show you that one more time. Going into that same space, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. So we have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So we've just made two single crochets into the eye of that first stitch. And we're gonna do this all the way across. We're gonna find the next stitch, which is right here, and we're gonna find that eye. This one is a lot easier to see. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna make two single crochets into that chain one space. Okay. Going into the next chain one space or I, we're gonna make one, two single crochets. So this is what it's looking like so far. And we are going to repeat this all the way across. So in every chain one space, we're going to make two single crochets. Okay guys, we are at the last stitch of the row. So going into that chain one space, we're gonna make our final two single crochets. Okay, and at this point, we are going to end our bookmark. So to do this, we are going to insert our hook kind of into the top, the top of our bookmark here. So we're gonna go under these two loops, okay? And we're gonna yarn over, pull through that space, and we're also gonna pull it through the loop on our hook. And that is a slip stitch. So what that does is now our bookmark is complete. So this is the right side, okay? Now to fasten off completely, we're going to yarn over and pull through the loop on our hook. Leave a long enough tail for weaving in your ends and you're gonna trim the rest, okay? And now we can pull tight to close and at this point it's normal for your bookmark to curl so just keep watching the video and I will show you how to add a tassel and how to help your bookmark lie completely flat. All right guys it's time to weave in our ends so we're going to grab our yarn needle and thread it with one of our tails. Now going on the back side of our work so that we don't see it, we are going to weave our needle through a few stitches and pull that yarn through. Weave it through a few more stitches, making it extra secure. And now we are going to make a knot to further secure our bookmark. We don't want it to unravel. Weave it through a few more stitches, and then when you're happy with it, we're going to trim that tail. Now we're going to repeat the process with our second tail so we no longer have any ends to weave in. Now it's time to add a tassel. So we are going to use a container, a book, a piece of cardboard, anything that measures about two and a half inches long. And we are going to wrap a strand of yarn around it about seven times. Then leave a long enough tail and trim it. Grab a new strand of yarn and we are going to go underneath those loops and we're gonna secure them by making a double knot. This will secure our tassel.
Now cut along the bottom edge and cut your working yarn tail. With a new strand of yarn, we are going to shape the top of the tassel. So wrap the strand around the tassel about three or four times and then again secure it with a double knot. Trim the little tail. And now it's time to attach our tassel to our bookmark. So we're gonna thread the yarn needle with the long tail that we left for our tassel. And we're gonna go into the top of the bookmark. And when we're happy with the length of our tassel, we're going to secure it with a knot. And then again, weave that little tail through so that you secure it to your bookmark. Now trim the tassel to make it even. And at this point, your bookmark might not be lying flat. That's completely normal. So we are gonna fix that by blocking our bookmark. So to do this, we are going to stick straight pins along each side of our bookmark, really stretch it out and get it into position. Now it's time to use our steamer or a spray bottle to gently steam or spray the bookmark with water. If you're using a steamer, make sure to stay at least two inches away from the fabric. And we're also going to do this with our tassel as well. Now press the steam or the water into your bookmark and tassel so that it really gets into the fabric and let it dry completely before unpinning it. And now your bookmark is ready to use. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, but please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, and I would love to see how your bookmark turned out. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.